for this win. What percent of the blame does he do does he deserve for putting him in this situation? Now, see, I'm not going to let you kill the monster that you mm. created and then play super. I, I haven't spoken. Why is that? Is that? Oh, I didn't say your name. <laughs> what you mean it? You said me. No, I did not. No, I did I not. I haven't spoken. I did not say Skip Bayless. <laughs> when I want you to speak, I would have dressed you Skip or Skip Bayless. Okay. I am not going to let someone write the narrative. They kill the monster that they created and become superhero. That's not how it works. But in this situation, he played as well in the second half as he played poorly in the second half. So he created this situation that he ended up digging them, he and the offense, digging them out of. But I thought, you know what, Skip, to be honest with you, I, I'll give 50-50 because I thought the first half the defense didn't get enough stops and, and Matt Ryan should have had more points on the board than 17. But the defense bowed their backs in the second half. And what could have gotten out of hand is that they made timely plays. They made just enough plays to allow Brady to, like, get on this rhythm. And that's what happens when you have the momentum. How much separation can you get when you have the momentum between you and the team? And the Falcons should have known this scenario because they had a 28-3 lead against this guy and wasn't able to create enough separation. But, Skip, I mean, the Bucs had 60 total yards in the first half, five first downs, and four real possessions. And the, the difference was they got pressure on Brady in the first half. They didn't get that same amount of pressure in the second half. And when they tried to dial that, whatever pressure that they dialed up, give Bruce Arians, give um, the O.C., Mm -hmm. uh, Byron Leftwich. Mm -hmm. Give him, give them credit, Skip, because they made the proper adjustments. Every time they came with a blitz, something quick was coming out. They hit Godwin. They hit Mike Evans. They hit Scotty Turner. A.B. was there. They always ha had an answer for whatever the Falcons tried to do in the second half. So I want to give them credit. So if you want Brady to get some credit, I'm going to give him 50% of the credit, 50% of the blame. I'm going to give that same to the defense. But I thought he played well in the second half. 320 yards, three touchdowns in the second half and got them back in the game. So, back in the game. They actually won the game. So, that's where I'm at. Fitty, fitty. Mm, okay. I am here to tell you that in all my years of watching professional football, I have never seen two halves back-to-back -back <laughs> by the same team like that happened yeah. yesterday. At the end of the first half, I was ready to proclaim on this show, sitting in this seat, that no matter their playoff chances, that team didn't belong in the playoffs. And by the end of the second half, I'm now ready to sit here and proclaim in this seat to you, this team could win it all this no, year. No, they can't. Yes, they, they can. The only way they can get past the NFC if somebody upsets New Orleans. They can't beat New Orleans. They can't because Tom Brady can't we'll withstand see. that pressure. Skip, you saw we'll it twice. See. What did your eyes tell you? So you eye test guy. What do your eyes tell you when they match up with the Saints? What my gut tells me is there's one man in sports I do not bet against, and it's Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. You talk about Pavarotti at the Sydney Opera House. This was the Mona Lisa in the second half. I, I have never seen him better. Owner. I've never seen any. I, I, this guy, the Falcons? He, he just keeps doing it. The Falcons. Shannon. They're dead in the water. The They're Falcons. down 17 to nothing. And this man comes out and says, no, I got this. And I'm going to give him 90% of the credit because okay. they were horrendous in the first half. They allowed. They? Yeah. The, the, the defense is horrendously <laughs> bad. So the, the defense allowed Matt Ryan to go 23 of 31 for 235 in the first half. They couldn't stop him. They batted down two balls in the end zone at the end of the half, or it would have been 21 to nothing, and it was 17 to nothing. And here came Brady out of halftime. I don't know if he gave a psycho Tom speech at halftime and said, that's enough of this, you know what? He came out and said, watch this. And he said it to his defense, and he said it to Matt Ryan and the Falcons, and he said it to his offensive line, and he said it to all his receivers, watch this. And if we could see the throws he started making, he just starts throwing lasers. And it started to that man, Antonio Brown, who caught the last bomb to win the game, but he throws one right up the chute to Antonio Brown for a quick 20. And then here he goes to Cameron. Right, that's just a gunshot over the middle. And it's like, wait, wait, who is this? Oh, 
wait a second, this is vintage Tom Brady to Mike Evans over the middle. That almost scored. And then Fournette got the one yard. And all of a sudden you say, wait a second, it's 17-7. to But what did the defense do? It's hapless. It's hopeless. And Matt Ryan then goes 75 yards in seven plays to make it 24-7 to with 7.34, mid-third quarter. Mm -hmm. they're, they're down 17 again. And Brady said, no, I got this. And here he came again, 26 yards to Mike Evans, and then 24 yards to Mike Evans. And then he hits Chris Godwin a little underneath four-yard slant for the touchdown, okay. and all of a sudden it's 24-14. to 14, And okay. I'm thinking, uh-oh. And then his defense finally starts to get the message. Wait, our, our guy, our golden god is back. He, he's turned back into vintage Tom Brady. And would you believe in the second half alone, Tom Brady threw for 320 yards? It's the most yards in a second half this whole football season by any quarterback. It was only second to Mahomes' first half against that defense at Tampa. Well, let me ask you a question. Think Skip. about Skip. that. He threw for 320 yeah. in the second half. I, I'm thinking about it. Skip. Really? My God. Now, hold on. Now, I know, let, let's just, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to visualize this and maybe we're talking about a different Atlanta Falcons team. This is not the same Atlanta Falcons team that had a 29-10 lead over the Cowboys and lost that game 40-39. Mm. I know this is not the same Falcons team that had a 16-point lead over the Chicago Bears and lost that game after they benched their quarterback mm. and brought Nick Foles in. Mm. This is not the same Falcons team that had a six-point lead with 40 seconds left and lost that game. This is a different Falcons team, right? It was the same Falcons Okay. team that held Brady and company to 60 yards in the first oh, half. 60 hold on, yards? Hold on, wait a minute. Are hold you on, kidding? Yeah, hold on. He throws for 320 on, in the second half? Wait a minute. You said his, you said his, hold on, wait a minute, just for a second, just for me, just to appease me. You said his defense was pathetic in the first half, mm -hmm. yet you just said Tom Brady had 60 yards and five first down, and you up here praising him. So mm -hmm. was he not pathetic in the mm -hmm. first half? Yeah, I told you they didn't look like a playoff team in the first half. Okay. But what, what is he known for? He's known for second halves. He's known for fourth quarters. He's known for overtimes. He is the comeback king. He is the clutchest player I've ever seen in any sport, and I take it even beyond Michael Jordan because Tom has had so many more chances in big games and big moments than Michael had in his fairly short career. Well, this is what we saw. We saw the tale of two halves. We saw one half where they put pressure on him, and the, second, the first half they got pressure. They sacked him. They brought safety, they brought slot blitzes, they brought corner blitzes, they got pressure, they brought line, uh, gut blitzes. They got him on the ground. But what we see with Tom Brady, what seems to be real, the reoccurring theme is that look at when they've lost and you look at the teams that beat them, what did they do? The Rams, what did they do? Relentless pressure. Now, if you think Tom Brady could have survived that onslaught mm -hmm. that Mahomes ran the gauntlet through yesterday, mm -hmm. you're sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. You know good and well because you saw it on a Sunday night. They had to call timeout to kick a field goal. So you can stop this notion. Relentless pressure, and Atlanta couldn't. Skip, don't make Atlanta seem like they're a playoff team. Like, they're, come on, don't do that. Mm. I'm, I'm giving Tom credit. But he created the monster. Mm. Now you want him to be the superhero because he slayed the monster? Mm. He created it. Mm. 320 passing 60 yards. In the, in first the half. second half, so by a man that so my man Shannon Sharp said four years ago, Tom, it's time to go home. What about the 60? three years ago, Tom? It's time to go home. Two years ago, Tom, it's what, time to go what, home. What about one year ago, Tom? That's it. What that's about enough. Skip? He went to a team that's loaded. The problem is he can't carry you anymore. Mm -hmm. He needs Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. He needs all that. All I'm saying is this. You talk about the 320. What about the 60 yards in the first half? Mm. Does that carry equal weight, yes or no? No, it doesn't keep, <laughs> carry equal weight to the third and fourth quarters of a game that you were down 24 to 7 in midway third quarter. You just told me. It's almost on par with that Super Bowl that he pulled off in that same building. It's yeah. just almost on par. Given the, the lack of continuity, given COVID, given pandemic, given so, 2020, and he just pulled so it all together. So he's the only one that had to go through that. No other team has had to go through that. How many quarterbacks change teams after 20 years? How about oh, one? Give me another one. Did Patrick Mahomes change teams this year? No. I don't think so. No. Did Aaron Rodgers? No. I don't think so. But nobody had mm. nobody had training nobody mm. had training camps. Mm. Nobody had mini camps. You see rookies come in. Justin Herbert's playing unbelievable. That skip. Don't do that. Don't try to see what you try to do is that you mentioned all these things like Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the only ones playing under this scenario mm. when you know that not to be the case. Mm. Now you just told me last week.
When I tried to heap praise on Mahomes, you said Mahomes put them in that situation against Miami with that poor play in the first half. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, the roles are reversed, and you hyping Tom Brady. Well, I saw Mahomes throw for 359 yards in the first half against Tampa, but in the last three quarters, I saw Tom Brady outplay Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, Tom Brady had not played Patrick mm. Mahomes all year long. Mm. That's why there's a, this a two-man mm. race for the MVP. You know, you, it's funny you bring that up. Tom Brady's now up to 32 touchdown passes, and Patrick's got 36. So, so it's starting, many, it's starting inter- to go like this. How many it? interceptions? Mm, 11. How many have Mahomes got? Mm, Five. I, okay. How many yards does Tom Brady has? Who's his coordinator, Patrick Mahomes? Oh, it's Andy Reid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, is this not his fourth year in that whoa, system? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is his – we're, we're just two-thirds See? of the way through the first year in not, this not, not, Bruce not, Arian system. Now, now all of a sudden we saw my offensive coordinator who's calling his play. You just said he was the GOAT. You said – no, you told oh, me – I, I didn't say it. It's just a fact. Hold on. You told me all these years coaching didn't matter. He- you said it's Tom out. Brady. Okay, you have told me all year you see decline in Tom Brady. Did you see any decline in the second half? Skip. Is, has he lost arm strength? Yeah. Has he lost nerve? Has he yes. lost poise? Yes! Yes! I'm glad you said Ooh. that. Has he lost nerve? Hey, Jim, can you roll the tape? You tell me, has he lost nerve on this mm-hmm. throw right here? Jim, roll the tape right quick. Now, I know you're not going to be able to see it. Mm-hmm. It's a Chris Scott. No, 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 no. no. I, don't, no I, don't, I don't need you to talk. I need you to voice over. I want the people to see from the end zone. You tell me, has he lost nerve? You see what he did? That's losing nerve. Oh, I see. Oh, Maybe yeah. that's self-preservation at 43. <laughs> Not what, self-preservation. What, what quarterback takes a shot in the face like that? <laughs> wait, Not, wait, who won the game? Not that who won the game? No, no, hold on. Who we put up 31. Skip, skip. We've already established that's why we leave because Tom Brady, we wouldn't lead, we wouldn't lead with this if Tom didn't come back. You said, has he lost nerve? I show you a play in which he's lost nerve. Now you say it's self-preservation. I just need you to pick a side. Now, by the way, the quick point of order. We have often led this show when Tom Brady stinks it up. So don't give me that he st- garbage. He, he stuck it up don't in the give first me that. half. Don't give me that. Did he stick it up in the first half? Yes or no? Do they look like a team that could win the NFC? Yeah, Skip, they let do. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you, you saw New Orleans yesterday, how many times? Skip, you just saw five weeks ago what New Orleans did to him on a Sunday night. If, and they if, was more relentless. If Tampa Bay or Tampa Bay had caught New Orleans with Drew Brees stinking like he did yesterday, coming off 11 fractured ribs. He should not have been in the game yesterday. And if that's just luck, that's Skip. fate, that's injury Skip. gods dictated, let there be Patrick Mahomes on the day Drew Brees is forced back in the lineup Skip. prematurely. Skip. Way to go, Patrick. Congratulations. Well, this, says, this, this says more about what mm. they think of Taysom Hill mm. than Drew Brees. Okay. We'll get to that at another. Yes. I'm sure we'll talk about we're, that a little we're later. We're going to do that very quickly. Quickly here but Skip, the, the fact of them, but, but here's the thing. You look at what they did defensively. Mm. That front, four, Skip, that was four-man pressure. They weren't bringing extra people on Mahomes. And the only way, Skip, you know Tom Brady. Skip, you saw what they did to him. You came out here and you was hurt. What they did to him, they beat the brakes off Tampa. Mm-hmm. That defense is relentless. Mm-hmm. And you think he can get out of what Mahomes got out of yesterday? Three times is the charm. I just hope they get to see them somewhere along the trail, even in New Orleans. I would love that to, what goes around comes all the way back around. They got thrown into the fire in game one at New Orleans. It was the most unfair scheduling I've ever seen in all my 40 odd years. That's Tom Brady. What, what's, no. what's, what's fair about that? Throw them into the fire. Throw them to the wolves right out of the chute <laughs> when you don't have any preseason and, and virtual OTA. Way to go. Well, Congratulations. Well, if that's the case, then the Lakers should be the Lakers Lakers should start with Sacramento. Mm, yeah. Why not? Because that's the best. Hold on, Skip. Oh. I, I just want you to help, help me this. Is this LeBron's first year here? No, I don't hold on. So. Hold on. Tom, Tom Brady, 21 years. Mm. You told me he'd go. Now, all of a sudden, it's because of the coaching staff and he's trying. <sighs> coaching didn't matter. For the longest, coaching didn't matter to Tom because he'd go. <laughs> and what I loved the most was Tom did force Antonio Brown into the mix at 6-2, and two, when a lot of people were saying, boy, this looks like the best team in football. The defense looked like the best defense in the NFC at that point. And Tom said, you know what? I'm shooting the moon. I know we're going to have to pay now so we don't have to pay later because I want us to have Antonio Brown in sync, in rhythm by the time we hit the playoffs. And yesterday, who caught the bomb to seal it? It was, it was, a, it was a great play design. They, had a, they do a lot of stack formations. And they got Antonio a free release on a guy that I don't know what he was thinking. I, maybe he thought he had help, but he just let Antonio just run right up 
free release and it was a touchdown. The safety jumped Godwin's underneath route and it left Antonio right. single and Antonio ran right by him. Skip. Thank you. But in a situation... Did the ball get there? I think it got there by old noodle arm. I don't know how he got it there, but he got it there. When you look at the Falcons, there are plays within the game that when you have the difference in winning and losing, you mentioned one of the plays. Jim, if we have that, could we show... Matt Ryan had two opportunities, Skip, to really put this game away. And I don't know why he chose to throw the ball in this manner and not drive it. Here's the first one. Skip, this is a touchdown. Just drive the ball. All he has to do is just drive it. Mm. Just throw it. I mean, look at look at Gaines, how he's just floating back there. Thank you, Carlton Davis, who, by the way, got hurt. And, and look at this, Skip. Right, right, Thank just, you, Antonio Winfield. Thank you. Do, Matt Ryan. I, I told you, I mentioned it earlier. Either one of those throws connects. But, it's probably but, ball but game. Skip, that's 21 to nothing, either one of those that, throws. Well, actually, that would have been extra. Well, that would have been 21 nothing at the half. That's and what that would have been, been a yeah. touchdown. So we might have a tie. It had to end up going overtime or something Maybe. like that. But that's the difference, Skip, is that. And you saw later in the ball game, uh, later in the ball game, Calvin Ridley, who was playing phenomenal, who's had a phenomenal year, he dropped the second down. And then on third down, it looks like they're playing cover five, what we call 22 mm -hmm. man. And Matt Ryan is wanting a back shoulder, and he runs it to get on top. And you can see Matt's like, no, that's not what we talked about in this situation. Skip, we Calvin Ridley caught 163 yards of balls. He caught 10 for 163. Would you believe it's the first Falcon to catch 150-yard-plus balls not named Julio? Yeah. Since 2012, Roddy White? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Th that's how shocking that was. That's what they were doing to that defense yesterday. Let's skip. <clears throat> Calvin Ridley is really good. But my thing is, is that I guarantee you, if you ask him today, he'll talk about the second down drop and the miscommunication on third down. Because, Skip, that would have kept them on the field. And the thing that you need to do when a team that has momentum is seizing momentum is that you need to keep them off the field as long as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. And then who knows? Maybe you don't get a touchdown, but maybe you get a field goal. Mm -hmm. Maybe you possess the ball five extra minutes, and now all of a sudden you've cooled them off. Mm -hmm. But they go three and out, punt the ball away, and Tom Brady comes right back down yep. the field. But in a situation like that, Skip, look, give Tom his credit. He played unbelievable in the second half. And the thing is, if you can't pressure Tampa's offense, I don't know how you beat them. Mm. Because, they, uh, look, uh, um, Rojo is out with that index and, finger. And that's a huge factor because right. they had little to no run game right. yesterday. Right, right. Okay. And that's the thing, though, Skip. If you – and that's – look, I don't want to sound like this. I, I'm, 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 I'm splitting the atom. But Tom, more so than any uh, – the quarterback – if you can't pressure the opposing team's quarterback, Skip, these guys have gotten too good. They'll pick you apart. And when you talk about the top five, top six guys, they'll really gut you. So with Tom, because he's not as mobile and he's not going to make the plays outside of the pocket, if you can get gas him up, you can they become very beatable. Because I told you from day one, Skip, I said, Skip, that defense can be had. And even when they were at their apex, Skip, I was not saying, Skip, I see some things that you can take advantage of. They're not as good. But they got rolling. Devin White, 12 tackles, three sacks, four tackles for loss. And even though they only got to him three times in the second half, you saw JPP start getting closer and closer. You saw Shaq Barrett start getting closer and closer. Sue started collapsing the pocket. The DB started getting tighter and tighter. And that's what they did. They start, give, give them credit. That momentum swell. Brady started playing well. And then the defense didn't come. They front running. Mm. But I tell you what, the only chance you got, the only chance, Skip Bayless, mm. is if somebody knocks New Orleans off. Because there's no way that front Hendrickson, that number 91 Hendrickson, he kept New Orleans in the game single-handedly by himself, Skip. Eric Fisher is a Pro Bowl offensive lineman, Skip, and he couldn't do anything with him. Pat Mahomes was talking to him on the field like, bro, you got to do better. And he was talking to him. Hey, hey there was sometimes guys just well, have he, to number that. He nearly that caved in Mahomes' chest on a sack fumble late in the game. He got, he got collected. Yep. What if they hit Brady like that? You'll be, fine. You'll be fine. You better stop. You, you ought to stop. Skip. 43 looking like 23. Skip, and by the way, it. speaking of numbers, Tampa Bay had zero turnovers yesterday and one penalty for 10 yards. That means it's the Patriot way in Tampa Bay. See? That means, uh oh, look out, but, Bill. But, and wait a second. Whatever happened to Bill Belichick? Don't do this, Skip. Don't do this. Whatever <laughs> happened, they're six and eight and they missed the playoffs for the. That's the worst record they've had <laughs> since pre Brady. No, it, it, huh? actually, no it's not. <laughs> They missed yeah, the playoffs first half since 2008 when Brady hurt. No, his but six and yeah. eight is oh, the yeah. worst since pr the year yeah. before Brady when they went five and eleven. Yeah, right. They might go five hundred. Mm. <laughs> they looking. Skip, why do you do this? 
when things go well, okay, they have one penalty, that's the Patriots way. When they have eight, nine penalties, Bruce Arian doesn't have any control. He's mm -hmm. the same coach when they have one penalty as when they have nine. So why does Brady get credit when they have one penalty? Sounds like Bruce during Arian the bye week that Tom took over total control of the team, doesn't it? That's what it looks like to me. And all of a sudden, Bill Belichick looks like he's in big trouble in New England and Tampa Bay is 9-5 and five rolling into the playoffs. Skip. I would say that's big advantage, Tom Brady over Bill Belichick. Skip. Wouldn't you? Skip, I'm not minimizing what Tampa was able to overcome. But let's not pretend they beat the 75 Steelers or the 76 Steelers mm. or the 70 Steelers or anything mm. like that or they beat the mid-90s Cowboys. Mm. That's not what they did, mm. and you know that. In the second half, it felt like that's what they did. Skip the Falcons! Mm. Skip the Falcons. Division rival, playing much better under Raheem Morris. Am I right? Much more competitive. Skip, play, okay, you're playing better. Could you play worse? Way to go, Tom. Mm. You got this. I can't believe, Way I can't to believe go, that. Tom. But listen, we got Virtuoso. Jim, Masterpiece. Can you, can you, oh, yeah. Let's somebody, skip enjoy today. Yeah. Somebody drew sideburns on the Mona Lisa. Because yeah. if that's the Mona, Mona Lisa, Lisa, she got Lisa. mutton chops. Yep. She got mutton chops. No, she's, yeah. she's beardless. <laughs> uh, so Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.